Hello, Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. So on my other video on how to upload a file, I realized after the fact that I didn't show you quite everything. And what I'm going to do now is uh, show you here in this short video. So when you click to upload file here, you'll see that um, there is no place on here to go to a workflow. And the reason being, because this is a special uh, upload input. Uh, so if we go to the workflow here, basically when file loader A's value, and this is called file, load, file, file uploader A, we want to go uh, and create a new data file. So back to the database, we're going to go and create a new data file for that. And it's simply the document is going to be this file loader's value. Okay, so when you see these different options here, it's value and then URL. Not the file name, but the URL. And then who can see the file? Add list current teams member. So we don't want to use add here because if you use add, it's just a single person. Uh, so we're going to be adding current team, current users team members. And, and team members here is a list of users, so that's why we use the add list here. So just be careful with this, uh, just in general, when you do uh, manipulate list, add is for a single user, add list is for a list of users. And if this list of users has the same uh, team members that already exist here, that's fine. It'll just, uh, Bubble will just uh, ignore it so you won't have double count of, of users. Uh, the next step is to basically reset the inputs again from just a user experience. Um, it, it won't have the file name stick in here. It'll reset it to click to upload a file. Uh, after the file has been uploaded. The other thing I forgot to, to mention is that when the file loader, so as a conditional here, I picked when this file loader is loading, and there's a lot of choices on here, but I said when it's loading, so the file is uploading, I want to change the placeholder so instead of saying click to upload a file, it's going to say uploading file. So again, a visual cue, when the user um, is uploading a file, they'll see that the file is being uploaded. Um, and I just have a simple, uh, when it's hovered, just to change the color. Again, a visual cue. So I just wanted to go and give a quick update on that. Uh, for getting file uh, uploader A's value, it's basically when an input's value is changed, that's what you want to choose, and the element is the file uploader A. Okay, so that's what you want to choose, and uh, that's the workflow for it. So that's just a little um, uh, addendum to the other video, and I uh, hope this was helpful and uh, might uh, answer some questions that the other video did not, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.